The Hamptons is a magical place. This is incredible. Beautiful people, beautiful cars, beautiful homes, really good celebrity sightings. It's so chic. Do I look expensive? It's very <laughs> expensive. 100 miles east of New York City, you'll find some of the most expensive homes in the country. I mean, this is sick. The number one industry in the Hamptons is real estate. The market is hot. Everything is selling for record numbers out here. We would be at $29.5 million. We are the brokerage that is innovative, different, young. But in real estate, nothing ever goes perfectly. Just FYI, you know there's a higher, much higher offer. Listen, just give me a counter. The competition is fierce. If you can't sell this house, you will all be replaced. People will do whatever they have to do to get a deal done. It's a $30 million yeah, commission no, on the no, line. This is like aggressive. Yeah. Bianca, just stop. Give me the heads up that you're going to my property. Yeah. And if you don't know that, that's a problem. Don't throw the blade at me. They will eat you alive. Are you planning on having accessories on this dining room table over here? Yeah, I've got beautiful glass things. You could put candles in those. Ooh, I like that. Always remember my motto, never let them see you sweat. I literally am sweating through my jacket, though. <laughs> I'm kind of liking these color, this color scheme. What's up, Mia? Looks much better, right? Yeah. Hello. What's up, good boy? What's up? Oh, good color I'm choice, good it. color choice. Yeah, I like it. It's looking good, guys. Oh, it looks great, right? It's coming along, ish. Today, we are prepping and staging for our first big open house event at our property, the Glass House. As a real estate firm, we are known at Nest Seekers to throw the best open house events. We do it just a little bit bigger. We have this reputation as the up and coming firm, but doing things differently, doing things new. And I think that really helps us stand out out here. Let's see what it looks uh, like once everything is in. Yeah. We're spending a lot of money, a lot of energy, a lot of time on this thing. Let's find the buyer tomorrow night. Yeah. We have billionaires showing up. We have very wealthy, sophisticated people. We really need to knock this out of the park. Yeah. I know the Hamptons probably 100 times better than my colleagues. I grew up in the Hamptons. My father's been a builder in the Hamptons for over 30 years. I was exposed to this really unique market at a very young age. I think the pressure from my family to be successful keeps the fire going underneath me and keeps the pressure on. And I'm at the point where I'm looked at as one of the top agents out here. In the last 18 months, I've done around $75 million worth of real estate transactions. The market's hot, but this is when people are out here. It's right now. It's from Memorial Day to Labor Day. And there's a significant drop off after that. There's no cushion of a salary. It's all commission. Commission is everything. We're introducing this property, which we're, you look around. Such a unique property. There's gonna be a lot of eyes on it from the start. This is a 10,000 square foot smart home. It has floor to ceiling windows that cover every inch of the house. Something that people haven't seen before and just a wide open floor plan. I think the right fit for this home is finding a buyer who loves to entertain. So the people that we are inviting to the Glass House event are people that we think this could really appeal to. Tours have never been so important in a house like this. Yeah. Creating the vision for the buyers and the clients is so freaking important in a big architectural masterpiece. At its core, it's a big, beautiful glass metal box that needs a whole lot of creativity, a whole lot of vision. Now the challenge becomes, how am I gonna help buyers envision themselves here? You really need to paint the picture, yeah. you know? We need so to Vanna just, White this house. We gotta Vanna White it. We gotta know what you're gonna say when you get to this area, where you land here, this is what you're gonna say. It's yeah. so important. What I'd love to do is go through those buyers, and if it's someone that I don't know that you're bringing, or maybe it's someone that I'm bringing that you don't know, I'd love to just look these people up, figure out who they are, and just have a little bit of information about them so we're just not leading blind. Even when I was younger, I've always been someone who was a hustler. I'm like, I want to make money. So I started modeling when I was 16. It was like, look, this is a way for me to make money, so I'm going to make as much money as I humanly can. 
because I like shiny things too. I really want to make sure that everything is perfect. Anyone I know will tell you, when they think of me, they think she has big energy. That's just who I am. Prior to real estate, I was a concierge liaison at one of the world's most expensive nightclubs. It would literally be someone calling and saying, we have a Saudi prince in town, or we have a tech billionaire. We need you to make sure that their night is perfect and seamless. And I would have to go to where they are and make sure that everything was handled. I loved it, but I also hated being out until four o'clock in the morning. I want to see the doors open. I want to see yeah. what All right, it Mia, looks like. Mia, you want to give it a little practice? OK, on? good lord. I could barely open the front door without screaming. Let's see this. Pull, pull in. Keep going, keep going. Yep. Oh, this is nothing. Drive up, drive up. No, Almost. you got to like really use your legs. Like you... squat. It's really Let me tell it you. <laughs> I can't. No, one of you guys are going to have to do All right, so... Sorry. Oh, see, so you didn't say or, jiggle or, it. Dude, or finesse wait, wait, that. Wait, 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 Run with wait, it, wait. run with it. OK. Oh, that's yeah, Hi, guys. Good. Good. Welcome. Mia here. Well, this is what I call indoor outdoor. Years ago, I was just, I was struggling. I remember calling Nick, my brother. He had been working real estate for years in Chicago and really killing it. He told me that all of my expertise would be transferable into real estate. That was exactly what I needed to hear. So I said, sign me up. So my first few years in real estate in New York has been incredible. Now I'm ready to bring my nonstop hustle to the Hamptons and establish myself here. The pressure's on. It's going to be fun. Do you know what you're wearing? Yeah, we know what we're wearing. Yeah? White tuxedo top, nice. maybe bow tie. We're doing Love like, that. yeah, we're doing that whole thing. I swear, you can always spot a Dartmouth man. They always look like JB and Jack. And maybe it's just me, but I feel like they're always kind of matching. We're coming in hot, dude. White tuxedo top. Hello. Hello. Been a little while since you've been here. It has, and it looks um, looks spectacular. A little bit different, it's huh? Beautiful. This is stunning. It has a really nice feel when you walk in. The pergolas, the green grass, and the trees, it's just magnificent. It's framed perfectly. Duck Pond is 16,000 square feet on two acres. Every amenity you could possibly think of. Four fireplaces, indoor spot, indoor pool, outdoor pool, basketball court. We forgot about the basketball court. Wine cellar, outdoor TV, movie theater, pool house. Whatever you want, this house has it for all year round, and it has changed the game in development and homes in the Hamptons. And today, after a year and a half of discussions with the builder, it's time. We have to land this house right now. Otherwise, we're going to miss the selling season of the summer. Yeah, the attention to detail in this house, oh, yeah. forget about it. It's spectacular. There's no one else like you. Duck Pond is worth $35 million. If I list and sell this property this summer, it will be the biggest sale of my career. I'm a New York City broker that everyone closed their doors at when I first came to the Hamptons. Don't snooze on me. Just because I'm this quiet person, I come in and I'll just snipe it out quietly, like the sniper that I am. I always want to set the bar higher and higher and higher. I want to be representing homes in the 10, 20, 30 million plus range. And these 30 plus million dollar properties are life changing. I think we're walking into one of the nicest kitchens I've ever seen. Listen, there's no lack of refrigeration in this house. You have four in the kitchen alone. Yeah. People need to eat, to detain, to cater. I've never seen an island this large before. In fact, it's so big, I think I could put a ping pong net like in the middle. And I love this. Two years ago, Sean and I listed and sold a property for the same developer for almost $2 million more than the asking price. You'd be silly not to give us Duck Pond. I put in the time. I have almost 10 years of experience under my belt. I know Duck Pond will be the property that pushes me to the next level. I'm not taking no for an answer. This is what I love. 
I remember you talking about it being one large stone piece, but seeing it in person is, it just, it's, I'm speechless. This home, it's qualitatively a different experience. And I built it for a king and a queen and their family to enjoy. That's so Peggy and I are gonna bring you yeah. a king and a queen. But we just need that Here. signature. Well, let's sit down and talk about what, what some of the details. Paint me a picture of what you would do with the listing to make me want to give you the listing. We've already established a marketing plan with a budget of how much we're going to even spend just marketing this property. We're risking nearly $100,000. Do you have your marketing plan there? Yeah. You have something. You did yes, homework. Yes, we, we, we came so, prepared. Just to get this house ready for market, we're looking at photography at 2,500, our lifestyle video at 15,000. It's crazy, I know it is, but it's a $35 million home, and on this level, that's what you need to spend. I come from an immigrant family, $100,000 is, it's mind blowing, but I have to spend it to make it. We wanna make this really elegant, sexy, mysterious, and really showcase and focus on the property itself. You have a great plan, you have good ideas, but the other agents I spoke to also had great plans and interesting ideas which aren't that dissimilar to this. Did they ever deliver for you before? We have a history where we already got you 1.6 million over. Some of them have delivered for me, and some would like to deliver for me. So how do you make a choice with so many good choices? It was almost easier to not list it with anyone and just leave it open. 